Hello and welcome to First Value. My name is Munes Shoga. I'm the editor of Capital Equipment News. We are here at this access rental to witness the arrival of the 1500 AJP, uh, the biggest articulated boom lift uh, in every sense of the word, uh, all the way from technology to working height. Uh, with me is Brett Fleming, the CEO of the East Group. He will take us through this machine. Brett, what makes the, this machine the biggest? Vanessa, yeah, thanks very much. Appreciate it. So, we're really excited about the product. Um, I think it's the first for Africa. We've been able to secure one of these units to bring them into the South African market. I mean, the key features in terms of the machine itself is, is obviously the fact that uh, it's able to reach 48 meters. So, it's the highest articulating mobile elevating work platform in Africa at the moment. So, the working height at 48 meters. I think the big benefit for it is the is the outreach that the machine has. Yeah. You know that outreach is 23 meters, which is considerable. Um, and then the other big plus factor on on the machine is it has an up and over working ability of 18 meters. Yeah. So what that really means is, in terms of being able to work right up against the job site, yeah. to be able to get up and then reach over that job site, you can park the machine right next to where where it is that you need to work. So from that perspective, obviously, it's got tremendous benefits uh, in terms of productivity, etc., and safety, which is critical. The other key features in terms of the machine is it's, it's got a 130 degree uh, articulation yeah. within its chip, both uh, on the rotational and on the horizontal. So once you've positioned your, the base of the machine, yeah. you're then able to use fine movement using the jib be able to position the machine in order to fulfill the work function that you've got at height, which makes the machine a lot safer in terms of being able to move small precise uh, movements in terms of the basket itself. Yeah. The other big benefit in terms of it is that you'll see there it's got an LCD screen and within that LCD screen is the working envelope in terms of the machine itself. So at all times the operator from a safety point of view will understand exactly where it is in terms of the basket within the machine safe working envelope, which obviously helps him, you know, um, understand in terms of his outreach where he is, uh, and just provides another level of security and comfort uh, to, to the operator uh, in terms of working with the product. Mm -hmm. um, the other big benefit in terms of the machine too is it's got two um, carrying capacities, and it works on a, a, a sensor. Uh, the first is. Traditionally, most access platforms would have had specifically boom lifts, yeah. would have carried 230 kilograms. Yeah. This unit's able to carry 272 kilograms. The benefit of that is obviously you can use more work tools, etc. Yeah. But the key thing with that is, is that you actually got an ability to carry 450 within its secondary envelope. Yeah. And, and really that you can work at maximum height at the 450. The, the way it works like that is it just limits the envelope size, so it limits the outreach. So as the carrying capacity goes up, so your outreach comes down. So you've got those two major benefits in terms of the machine. The other thing for us is uh, the ability for the machine to be loaded and offloaded. Yeah. So typically a machine of this size may have had to be used uh, abnormal load, may need to be used in order to transport the machine. Yeah. But you can see through the unique design of the base of the unit, the actual footprint of the machine gets pulled in, mm -hmm. and it's then able to load onto a, a standard load bed, and um, you know the ability of that then to transport it any time of the day uh, is, has a massive upside for us from a rental perspective to be able to deliver the machine at any time that the customer would really need it. Yeah, yeah. Just give us a sense into the state of the business. Have you seen an uptake of these machines locally? So, Manessa, I mean, I think we've been, you know, been very fortunate. I mean, things in South Africa, I mean, there's certainly a tightening in terms of the economy. People are looking for cost savings. Yeah. They're looking for productivity enhancements. And at the same time, safety's become critical. Protecting people is, is a key part of yeah. looking after those people. And I think when you look at it from that perspective, Easy has a great solution in terms of that. So, yeah. in terms of the product itself, I mean, um, the productivity gains that we've seen over traditional work at heart methodology yeah. is you know anything from 50 to 70 percent productivity gains for the customer when working at heart. Um, the other big benefit is obviously from a safety point of view. So the operator is encapsulated, is in his fail safe systems on it. So instead of climbing up and down the traditional uh, work at heart methodology uh, product, you know 
know, the machine obviously does all of that work. So from a fatigue point of view, from a safety point of view, um, obviously there's a huge benefit from, from that perspective. So when you combine those and you look, you know, we, we're going to customers um, and we're really able to offer them a solution that saves them you know, from productivity, reduces their risk, um, and increases obviously from a cost saving, a tremendous cost saving to keep their business. So when you add all of that together, we've actually seen a massive uptick in that. Um, and really for us, it's about partnering with the customer uh, and wanting to make a difference in the life of the customer. Yeah. And, and not only in the customer who's um, owning the business or running the projects, etc., yeah. but also the customer who's using the machine. So in other words, the artisan or the operator that's using it, it's yeah. about improving his life as well in terms of yeah. giving him an environment to work in that's safe yeah. um, and, and that he feels comfortable in. And at the same time, obviously, the productivity gains go directly to the to you know, whoever's running the project or owns the business doing the function, uh, and that passes throughout the economy. So, yeah. in terms of us, you know, we, we really believe that we we're making a difference in the lives of the people using the product and obviously in the lives of the customers. Yeah. And in doing that, we've seen a massive uptick in it, which has helped us too to make a difference in the lives of the people that work with Easy. So, the business has grown over the years, and we've managed to obviously employ a lot more people uh, so from a community and giving back into the community employing people upskilling them I think you know, we've grown from starting the business with two with 700 people and all their immediate families that the business is supporting so we're really proud of that and giving back to the South African environment South African economy and obviously now moving into Africa to do the same yeah just speaking about Africa mm-hmm. um, how far have you gone far not been to uh, yeah, so you know, so in terms of you know, our view of Africa, is we, we've kind of stayed as close as we can just to learn a little bit, yeah. you know, not rush up. Um, so we've we've established ourselves in Namibia with an operation, which has been quite successful with a few projects and and ad hoc rental that's up there, so we're quite well established in the Namibian market. And then obviously we've established as well in Mozambique. Yeah. in Matola, but we service the whole country. And that's a fully fledged bricks and mortar operations in both of those. Uh, their own fleets, their own training facilities, um, sales ability to sell product in to those markets. And we've been very successful in terms of both of those, yeah. but we've also learned a lot of good lessons. Yeah. Um, and now kind of we're ready, you know, we've done a lot of other projects, Madagascar, Zambia, yeah. DRC, we've done projects there, and that's very different. Yeah. obviously to running a fully fledged business yeah. uh, but I think the lessons that we've learned we're now going to apply and uh, we need to expand so we're quite excited about that yeah. it's kind of the next journey for us uh, we're not done in South Africa either in terms of coverage yeah. and we've got some you know, vision around opening more operations in South Africa better yeah. serve the customer the closer you are to the customer the better service yeah. levels you can give and the more part of that community you can be so for us it's about that it's about yeah. spreading the good news of easy yeah. Thanks a lot, Brett. We really appreciate your time. We look forward to witnessing uh, some more innovations as they come. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers.